Well, hello, and welcome back to Shane's Hobby Shop. Today is going to be, I think it's going to be my very first two-part video of uh, this series. Only two parts. But uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to show you how on this part, I'm going to take a pattern. I got a very large pattern here. It's actually three pages. Right here and right here. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, want to keep this pattern. But yet, this is paper. You know, paper patterns don't last that long. So what do you do in order to keep this pattern? Let's say this is something you want to you know, continue doing year after year, 20, 30, 40 plus times, and this paper is not going to last. So first part, I'm going to show you how you can keep this pattern. And then my second part, we're going to show you what we're going to do with that pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and get busy. Okay, yeah, here we go for the very first part. Like I said, I got this pattern here, and I want to keep it. But of course, as soon as I use it, it's going to mess it up. So what I did is I went looking around uh, at my big box stores, some office stores, and asked people who can uh, copy this for me, uh, scan it, and copy it for me. Well. I actually found somebody do that. And here we go. This is a copy of these plans. Now I can cut these up and not problem. I got the originals here. So then let's go ahead and get rid of these. Okay, here we are with copies of the original. I can go ahead and cut this out and what I'm going to use I got a razor blade knife with a brand new blade in it and I'm going to go ahead and trace it out and cut it out. Now I can cut the uh, trace it out wider than the line that is fine but uh, you're going to see what we're going to be doing with it. after I cut it all out I'm going to be putting it all together with this masking tape something clear that I can see through and then back behind me I got a quarter inch hardboard. What I'm going to do is glue this pattern down to my quarter inch hardboard. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and glue it. Not going to use that adhesive nothing. I'm going to use straight glue because uh, I don't care if it's on there or not. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cut this out. We're going to glue it to a, we'll put it together and then glue it to the hardboard and then we'll go from there. Okay, depending on what pattern you use, you may be overlapping some patterns and you got to cut them out. Like for instance, this and this is part of my body, but I had to cut out two feet. And a good thing, one good uh, tip you can do on this is flip it over and just tape down some normal paper on here and that will make sure that this won't mess up during your next step. There you go. Good as new. Got the body filled up with regular paper. Now let's go ahead and put all this pattern together.
Okay, I went ahead and I put the uh, the whole pattern together and I even glued it down to its quarter inch hardboard. This is what I'm going to be keeping as for my pattern so I can use this snowman over and over again. Alright, so now what I need to do now is got me a jigsaw, got me a fine tooth blade on here. I'm going to go ahead and go on the outside and cut everything on the outside. Now, you may be wondering what I'm going to be doing about all these lines and things on the inside. Well, I'll show you that next. But for now, let's go ahead and cut out the snowman. Okay, here we go. We went ahead and got it to glued up to the hardboard, got it cut out, and now, well, since this is going to be a pattern for other boards, you're going to want to know well, where, how can we locate the eyes and all of these other lines that are in here. Well, that, that's pretty simple here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small plunge router and with a small bit, and I'm going to go ahead and cut these lines out. Well, not all the way I should say see if I would have cut this line out this hat will fall off so what I'm going to do is just do dashes in here that way when I put this board up on top of another board I can just uh, put my pencil in there and draw these dashes and then I know where to paint at on the other board okay now some of these like the eyes and the nose and part of the mouth you can go ahead and cut those out if you want or just do the dashes again with your plunge router and that way you can just mark it with your pencil or pen or whatever on your regular board all right so now let's go ahead and set that up and we'll uh, cut those out Well, here you go. The snowman is complete for the pattern wise. Like I said, uh, you can put this on anything you want, and all you gotta do is just follow these little holes I got uh, uh, on call routered out, I guess you want to say, and just put your pencil marks in there, and then you'll be able to make multiple of these snowmen. Alright? So, yeah, pretty simple. Now all I got to do when I'm done with this, I'll just put it up my rafters or just put it away somewhere for, for the season or whatever and uh, next fall I'll bring it back out and I'll make a bunch of these up. I can even sell them. So a very simple project. Now then, this pattern that I got is not my pattern. This has actually come from a website and I will leave a link in the description below to where you can get this pattern and a bunch more. Not only seasonal pattern, but some very good uh, plans. Alright, so yeah, this is it. Now my next step, I'm going to show you how I can put this to good use. Alright, well, my name is Shane and this is Shane's Hobby Shop. We'll see you next time. Well, hold on a second before you head out. Have you ever tried going out in your backyard at night time and stumble over stuff because you can't see? Or even going to your garage? Well, yeah, that can be a feat in itself if you don't got the proper lighting. Well, I'd like you to go check out this video right here where it's a Sensei Security Motion Light. That's right, it also does security, which we all need. Alright, so go check out that light. And in the description below in this video and in that video, you'll get a link to the Amazon where you can buy that light and plus other lights that they do have. Alright, so go check them out and tell them Shane sent you.